today's video we are going to learn what are quadratic equations and once we set up the quadratic equation we are going to see what are the solutions of the quadratic equations that are called roots of the quadratic equation and how to solve these quadratic equations using the technique that we have demonstrated for quadratic functions that is graphing technique so let us start so first of all let us understand what is a quadratic equation and how it is related to quadratic function so here is a definition if a quadratic function is set to be equal to a value then the result is called quadratic equation so let us see one example for example ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is one quadratic equation where a is not equal to 0 in a similar manner ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 5 is another quadratic equation obviously a should not be equal to 0 now once we get the quadratic equation if the coefficients what are the coefficients coefficients are like a b and c these are called coefficients of the quadratic equation if the coefficients are set of int are from set of integers or which we have studied in week 1 so if a b c the coefficients are integers we will call and the right hand on the right hand side it is equated to 0 that is we have a equation a square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 and a b c are integers then the quadratic equation is said to be in the standard form. So in on this slide we have seen two definitions. One what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation is nothing but a quadratic function where it is equated to some value. And what is the standard form of quadratic equation? That is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b, c belong to z and a is not equal to 0 then the quadratic equation is said to be in standard form. Now once we have a quadratic equation in standard form we can discuss about roots of the quadratic equation or zeros of the functions and we will see how the concept of roots of quadratic equation and zeros of quadratic function are related in this slide. So the solutions of the quadratic equation are called roots of the equation. What, are, what, is a, what do I mean by that? If ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then what is a value of x that gives me 0 is called the solution to the function, solution to the quadratic equation. And that also that value of x will also be known as root of the quadratic equation. So this way we get the roots of the quadratic equations. So now which way you can find the roots of the quadratic equations? One method which is very easy if you have a quadratic function associated with this quadratic equation then you just plot the quadratic function and find its zeros. What is a zero of a quadratic function? Zero of a quadratic function is nothing but its x-intercept. So in particular if you observe that zeros of the functions are x-intercepts of its graph and these are the solutions to the related equation fx is equal to 0 at these points. Correct. So you just if you if you are having a quadratic function what you need to do is just plot it just plot it and see where it intersects x-axis if it intersects x-axis then you got the solution or the root of the quadratic equation. So let us try to see this uh, through some examples. So here are some examples. So the question is to find the roots of the following equations. First equation is x square plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Second one is x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And third one is x square plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will take these equations one by one. So essentially what we are proposing is we want to chart these equations or we want to plot these expressions on a graph paper. So if you recollect from our last videos, last few videos, 
you in order to plot a quadratic function we need to understand the axis of symmetry of the quadratic function so let us take the first example where you have x square plus 6x plus 8 now i want to understand what is the axis of symmetry of this particular function let us see so in this case for our standard no notation a related quadratic function is x square plus 6x plus 8 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 8 so y intercept is obviously 8 and uh, axis of symmetry is x is equal to minus b by 2a which obviously means it's minus 6 upon 2 which is minus 3 so axis of symmetry is x is equal to minus 3 good so axis of symmetry is x is equal to minus 3 and a the value of a is positive okay so what are the things that we can conclude from our previous videos that is if a is greater than 0 the curve opens up the graph of the function opens up it attains the minimum it attains the minimum and the axis of symmetry in this particular example is x is equal to minus 3 so the simplest thing that we can do here is put x is equal to minus 3 in this expression and you will see that the expression will take a negative value that means the y value taken is negative that means you can easily see that if the y value taken is negative you can easily see the curve opens up that means it will intersect x axis in two points correct okay. now we want to guess those two points without plotting right now based on our visual interpretation of this curve can we guess the two points okay so minus 3 the value is negative that means for minus 3 it is negative then let us check it for x is equal to minus 2 if you substitute x is equal to minus 2 you will get the uh, square term as 4 the second term as uh, minus 12 plus 8 4 8 plus 4 12 12 minus 12 0 so one root i have got which is minus 2 if minus 2 is one root minus 3 is one uh, minus 3 is axis of symmetry that means at a distance one apart from this there will be another root that means minus 4 will be the second root wow so we were able to understand that minus 4 and minus 2 will be the roots of this equation without even drawing just on the basis of what we have understood so what we have understood here is minus 2 and minus 4 will take the value 0 and for x is equal to minus 3 you will get one negative value and based on that you have prepared a table and therefore you can plot this graph easily right so so we will graph the related quadratic function using axis of symmetry and vertex we have already discussed this so now axis of symmetry x is equal to minus 3 the roots are minus 4 and minus 2 and therefore the quadratic equation given here x square plus 6x plus 8 has two real solutions two real roots how will the graph look like it's very easy we have already imagined the graph yes so this is the graph where minus 4 is a point here and minus 2 is a point here minus 4 minus 2 are the roots and here it achieves the minimum which is minus 3 so you can easily plot this graph let us go to the second equation now in this second equation again we will consider the associated quadratic function what is the associated quadratic function x square plus 2x plus 1 okay what will be the axis of symmetry for this minus b by 2a minus b by 2a will be minus 1 right because b is 2 and a is 1 so minus b by 2a is minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 is the axis of symmetry for this particular quadratic function okay let us substitute the value of x is equal to minus 1 in this quadratic function so you will get minus 1 square which is 1 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2 plus 1 so you will get 0 oh so minus 1 itself is a 
correct but that is a point of the vertex where it achieves the minimum so there uh, using axis of symmetry you can conclude that there cannot be any other point other than minus 1 where it will take the value 0 because that's the point where the vertex arrives that means the axis of symmetry for the second equation is x is equal to minus 1 a is greater than 0 so the curve opens up and therefore it achieves the minimum and therefore the roots are minus 1 and minus 1 what is the value at minus 1 it is 0 so that is that itself is a root and therefore it has only one real root which is repeated twice so in particular the graph of a function will look like this okay now the next problem is very interesting x square plus 1 is equal to 0 where uh, if you com compare this with the standard form of the equation ax square plus bx plus c then uh, you will get b to be equal to 0 that means this curve or this the graph of this function will be symmetric about x is equal to 0 that is y axis and since a is greater than 0 the curve will open upwards so the curve is open up now a is greater than 0 it will achieve the minimum value where it will achieve the minimum value at the vertex so what is the vertex of this particular function because x is equal to 0 so where it uh, you substitute x is equal to 0 here so that value is 1 x square plus 1 is 1 so 0 1 so 1 is the minimum value of this function can this function be equal to 0 then it cannot be so this will give us the answer that axis of symmetry x is 0 there are no real roots for this particular function because it never intersects x axis and the function will look like this so this in short summarizes what are possible solutions in this uh, in any scenario where ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 is given to you in particular if ax square plus bx plus c if you are able to find the vertex and the vertex takes the negative value and a is greater than 0 the curve opens up so it will have two positive roots uh, sorry two roots which are real numbers if the curve opens up but the value at the vertex is 0 then it has only one root and if the curve opens up and it is above this uh, above the x, x axis that is it takes a positive value on the vertex y coordinate of the vertex is positive then it will never intersect x axis in a similar manner you uh, it is for you to study that when a is less than 0 what will happen so i can give you the rough interpretation if a is less than 0 and it achieve, uh, then it achieves the maximum on the vertex and if that maximum is positive then it will have two real roots if a is less than 0 and at the vertex the value is 0 then it will have a single real root and if a is less than 0 and it is below x axis then it will have no real roots so these are the scenarios that we can cover using this uh, these pro, uh, graphing graphing technique